This video discusses the question, why is the arch view of the body accurate in modeling the changes to the human body caused by masturbation? A previous video showed that in the arch view of the human body, two arches are superimposed on the body as shown in this picture. According to Happy Theory, the changes caused to the body by masturbation will make the body look as if the area enclosed by one of the arches has become smaller, as demonstrated in this picture. Why is the arch view of the body accurate in modeling the changes to the human body caused by masturbation? The arch view of the body is accurate in modeling the changes to the human body caused by masturbation because the arch view of the body is a subset of the double testicle view of the human body. According to the double testicle view of the body, the behavior of the human body can be modeled by two large testicles superimposed on the body as shown in this picture. The double testicle view of the body is more powerful than the arch view of the body because the double testicle view of the body can be used to model more of the behavior of the human body. The origination points of each arch of the arch view of the body is on the ground. Each arch starts on the ground and ends up on the ground. The arch view of the body is limited in modeling the behavior of the legs because the bottom of each arch must remain on the ground. The origination point of each testicle of the double testicle view of the body is in the middle of the body. Because the origination point of each testicle is in the middle of the body, the bottom of the testicle can be pulled upwards towards that middle. This ability allows any change to the legs to be modeled by the double testicle view of the body. Why is the arch view of the body a subset of the double testicle view of the body? The process to demonstrate this is very simple. Here is the man with the double testicles superimposed on his body. Both testicles are then stretched downwards until their origination point is located on the ground. Next, a line is drawn following the outline of each testicle. The result is two arches. This picture compares the original picture used to demonstrate the arch view of the body and the picture that was just created by outlining the top halves of the double testicle view of the body. This is why the arch view of the body is a subset of the double testicle view of the body. The arch view of the body is created from the top halves of the double testicle view of the body.